Hi everyone, it is another Marketing Monday. My name is Lynn Weinman and I'm the President and Chief Strategist of Kid Glove. And today I have some guidance for purpose-driven businesses to help you decide when to speak out on social impact issues and when to stay quietly on the sidelines. So in the past, marketers would often stay out of the fray of social issues and stick to their product and service messaging. However, events in recent years have changed the playing field and brands are expected now to use their voices for good. The proof, according to a 2019 Gartner study, 87% of employees want their employer to take a stand on issues relevant to their business. And here's another interesting statistic from Harvard professor Gerald Zaltman. 95% of purchasing decisions are subconscious. And then according to the Markstein report, 70% of consumers want to know what brands they support are doing to affect good in the world. And I personally believe that number is increasing every day. These three facts together indicate that employees and consumers expect brands to take a stand. And when that stand aligns with your audience, it is ultimately going to impact their purchasing decisions. So I understand, I understand that it can be terrifying to speak out on social issues. We've all seen it done well, and we've all seen it done badly. So historically, organizations tend to be quiet in order to stay away from controversy. But I will tell you that in today's world, we're seeing more and more indications that your silence often speaks louder than words. And it's time for marketers to get off the sidelines. So if you're wondering when you should speak out, here are three questions that you can ask that can help you determine when to speak out. First, ask yourself, does this issue align with our purpose? And if the answer is yes, then you can move on to the next question, which is, can we add to the conversation in a meaningful way? So if you want to speak, but you don't have accurate information or meaningful talking points, it's not the right time for you. However, if the answer to this question is yes, keep going. The third question is, will our audience generally agree? You will never get 100% agreement, but if the majority of your audience will agree and your answer to all three questions is yes, then you have the green light and you should craft your message plan. And as you get more practice in this arena, you'll be able to start to look ahead and be somewhat planful on when and how you'll speak out, making it easier and even more effective. So once again, the three questions are, does this issue align with our purpose? Can we add to the conversation in a meaningful way? And will our audience generally agree? If the answer to all three is yes, you have the green light to move forward. So thank you for spending some time with me today for Marketing Monday. I hope you have found this guidance helpful. In a few weeks, this video and a corresponding blog post will be available at kidglove.com. And if you go to the expertise section of the website and click on Purpose Driven Business, you will find a variety of case studies and helpful blog posts as well as Agency for Change podcast episodes from other purpose-driven business leaders. So thank you for joining me today. Happy Marketing Monday.